The state's Flood Protection Authority East in Gentilly is at work loading 3,000-pound sandbags onto trucks. The request came from St. Mary Parish for the Morgan City area. National Guard trucks were called into action as well to move a couple of hundred gravel-filled bags to that area. Here in the metro area, they are opening the 150 floodgates they closed and inspecting for levee problems caused by Barry. There's been no problems. We've seen no signs of damage or any issues. Some areas are still too wet to get to, but we didn't see water uh, from the surge or the river that really went up against any of our structures in any significant way, if at all. So we're very confident that there's nothing out there that we need to be concerned about. On the federal side, inspectors from the Army Corps of Engineers started looking for damage across Louisiana this morning. We've seen a couple of sides worsen a little bit. We've seen um, some sod cover that's gotten affected from the overtopping, uh, but that's over in the Atchafalaya Basin. None of our Mississippi River levees overtopped. They stress here in the New Orleans area, the levees are unaffected by the storm, even with the high river. We've been in flood fight for over four months now where we've been inspecting every single day, but with the flood fights actually going on since last November. And they are ready to handle all the extra rain coming to New Orleans that Barry's dumping now in states north of Louisiana. Fortunately, the Mississippi River has been dropping over the last couple of weeks, so we've got some extra storage to cover the rain that Barry is dropping, so it won't prolong our, our flood fight down here too much longer. It'll probably extend it another week or so. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.